400 bushel corn. How do we get there? Watch this video to see how advanced crop nutrition can get you higher yields. Stay tuned. I'm Sherry Cook. I am a 30-year veteran in the egg industry, and we're gonna help you learn more about your farming operations and crop nutrition. I had a great conversation with Dr. Fred Bilo and Dr. Sybil from the University of Illinois about how they can help you increase your yields. You're on the cutting edge, right, of, of doing trials and getting information as you plan and as you put your trials together. What things do you keep in mind to make sure that you have in there and how does that affect our local farmers? So Sherry, what we look at is practices and products that impact high yield. And, and I don't have to tell you that those things interact in a host of ways. And what we want is the physiology. We want to know why a factor acts to impact crop yield. So we've looked at when the nutrients are required by the crop, how they are used by the crop, and we see huge opportunity to improve nutrient use efficiency and, and then ultimately end up with higher yield. And you do quite a bit of work with new products, right? We do. When we have new technologies come, how do those new technologies interact with the old technologies? Are they gonna replace the old technologies? Um, I mean, anything in research should be looking down the road so that hopefully we have the answers today that farmers will need tomorrow. What are some practical things that you would tell growers to do to increase their yields? Crop yield starts with fertility. And as you plant more plants, each plant has a smaller root system, and that makes the fertility that much more important. So for corn, it's plants and fertility to take advantage of the yield potential, which is in today's harvest. Yep, and it's not that different for soybean. Um, we know that soybean high yields has a higher nutrient requirement. So things we're doing to give them a longer season, earlier planting, looking at combinations of foliar protection packages and then back to the fertility side. Outside of just a nutrient input, what other inputs might we be able to look at? And the idea of soil biology is exciting. It's fascinating. I think we know more about the stars than we do what's going on below our feet. And that's where this biological space is coming from. Um, certainly that is an area where we're seeing paired with the fertility, helping get more synergy out of the system. Um, it's helping make our nutrient use efficiency higher and therefore we're getting more yield out of the same level of inputs. And you are seeing yield responses because of the usage of biologicals. They make a good system better. So it comes down to knowing what you need done, making sure that that biological fits that, uh, that criterion. We see we can take the, a situation, largely fertility, and make it a little bit better. And a little bit goes a long way. There's a little rumor going around that you guys have a have a yield contest going on with some of your students. Can you share a little more about that? And whatever the student decides to do to their plots is up to them. Fertility management, hybrid selection, what density they want to plant it. You know, do they want to spray it every Monday with some sort of package? Do they want to wide drop it every Tuesday? Their choice all in the end. And at the very end, we'll take it to yield and find out who got the highest yield as a part of the systems approach. It's been a really fun project just to see the students uh, and all the different options they've taken. Anything you can share that's been like just a home run? Here's what, what we've learned when it comes to high yield. It's not a recipe, it's more of an art. And so there's probably more than one way to achieve high yield. And we're gonna learn a lot from what these students um, discover along the way. Not only what they did to increase yield, but we look at why. We just talked about the yield contest at the University of Illinois. And so I wanted to hear a little more about it myself from the students. So we gave them a camera. Let's see what they had to say. For our yield competition, I've really been looking at uptake curves and when the crop really needs the nutrition and trying to supply that nutrition at the recommended times. I'm using a, a new hybrid this year that we haven't used before, so I'm hoping to get it over that 300 bushel mark. Dry land's tough, but I'm hoping to see 400 bushels an acre this year. We are hoping to see these new trends apply late season, that they are gonna remobilize from the roots and the leaves to the year and have higher yields, especially sulfur and zinc. Trying to get high yields, I'm using a mixture of foliar applied nutrients, micronutrients, as well as the pre-plant P and K, MESZ, and MOP. In the yield competition, I want to achieve how you can minimize your management practices, but still get the highest yield out of that. I'm hoping to see at most 
like a 295 to 300. I'm not sure if I'll get that, but we can help her. I'd love to see 340, 350 bushel corn, maybe even more than that. But ultimately, I'm just, I'm excited to see what I've been able to produce this season and utilize some of the skills and knowledge I've obtained to help producers do this in their future at a more reasonable economical uh, uh, cost. Lots of pride for these students to be able to take home that top prize. Where can anybody find information about who wins and what practices made the difference? We will be posting those results on our lab website. Uh, the URL for that is cropphysiology.cropsci.illinois.edu. Uh, I'm also on Twitter, at Connor Sibyl, and I'll be posting the results there as well. You can be sure that Dr. Sibyl and I will be on the speaking circuit this fall and winter. And since we love high yield, we'll be talking about what student won and how they achieved it full public disclosure. Well, super excited to hear what you guys do and who wins and what they had to do to get there. So are we. Yeah. <laughs> what a day. I can't wait to see the results of that yield competition. Thanks for joining me today on Advanced Crop Nutrition. If you're looking for more information on crop nutrition, join us at cropnutrition.com. Be sure to subscribe to the ACNI newsletter. Thanks to Mosaic for sponsoring our show today. If there's anything you'd like us to cover, please leave a comment below.